Year two for Dan Lanning in Oregon, and I'm guessing today maybe feels a little different than last year's season opener that was against his former team that had just won the Natty in Atlanta. Uh, in any event, this offseason, Lanning had a chance to sit down with a guy who knows all about the pressure and expectations that come with coaching at Oregon. It is a coach's conversation with Nick Aliotti and Dan Lanning. Well, welcome, Dan, Coach Lanning. I'll tell you what, and I've told you this to your face a number of times, and I want to say this on camera. I love everything about you. You have the right spirit, the right energy. You connect with people. And the thing that I think initially connects me to you is we have a similar path to uh, how we grinded to get, get our jobs. Wasn't easy, was it? It was not easy, Coach. No. Um, obviously, for me, growing up as a, a coach, I have a lot of respect and admiration for you. But it's been more fun the last 12 months getting to know you as a person. And you had some epic defenses up there in Oregon that we're trying to mimic, man. Well, that's kind of you. We, we did have some good years. But your vision of what Oregon was before you got here, your vision of what you thought it was and what it is now. Well, it's, it's exceeded my expectations. You know, uh, outside looking in, you see a place that you think speed, you think innovative, uh, you think resources, and certainly all that's true, but the people, you know, make this place really special. And the commitment and the alignment with the administration uh, and the fan base of what our goals are, you know, it's nice being in a place where they're committed to being successful. And uh, players enjoy being there. You can really have a narrow focus on what you want to accomplish. I think all those things really exist. And he will fake it and then throw it to the end zone. Touchdown, Franklin. Okay, it's third and eight. Game's on the line. Pressure or coverage? Oh, we're going to pressure. <laughs> yeah, we're going to pressure. I know that. I love it. Yeah. 100% we're bringing heat. Yeah, make them sweat. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want them back there combing their hair on third and eight. That's I've great. made that mistake before. Right, no. but you, you, and you got to change it up. It's not always the same. Right, but, but yeah, you, you, you want them sweating a little bit. I'm with you. We're bringing heat off the bus, baby. That's right. <laughs> if you could change anything about college football, what would it be? Oh man, no, it's um, you know the biggest thing that I miss, and I feel like the, as a coach we have to be great stewards of is there's there's been a loss of selflessness in college football, and we live in a microwave society. Everybody wants something quick. And, you know, there's something to be said for the long, hard work. You know, we've had some great guys in our program that were steadfast, that worked their tails off, and they earned their opportunities, and I've, I've had the experience to see that. But they always put the team first. When you can have that on a team, you know, I think that's the secret sauce. That's the part that matters. Nothing but the best moving forward, Coach Lanning. Thank Thanks you for your time. Appreciate you.